Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's Bill and Jessica, Power 1017. How are you? Hello. Good morning. I, uh, hello, Jessica. Good morning to both of you. It's good to be talking to folks close to my true hometown of Washington, D.C. I spent a lot of time out on the shore there. We brought yes. the show there, so it's good to talk to you. How you doing? Oh, man. You started the interview off right. Yeah, I like I'm that. I'm just going to call you Mr. Handsome. Do you still have your beard? <laughs> I, I I, I'm not. A, my wife won't let me get rid of my beard. I, okay, good. Because I mean, I understand it, honey. I understand. And she's like, no, I like beards, and you're keeping it. So I <laughs> right. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> right. Well, look. Uh, thank you so much for checking in. Uh, first off, congratulations on all your success. I have so much to ask you, and we only got a couple minutes. Isn't that something? Okay. You, you got so much going on. First up, because. I'm really into like politics and things going on in the political world. And I know that you worked in the Obama White House, uh, who, by the way, miss the Obamas every day. Just FYI. I just want to throw that out there. Um, so are you keeping up with all the hearings and everything going on? I am trying to keep up, Bill. Uh, and Jessica. It's, it's a lot. America's a lot right now. Uh, to quickly fact check and clarify, I advise. Uh, in a voluntary capacity, the Obama White House. I was never employed. I didn't have an office in the West Wing. Okay. Uh, but I am proud uh, of being able to, to lightly serve serve the country I love so much in that particular way. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm following the Supreme Court, and it's increasing deviation from, from what I think of as liberty and justice for all and what most of us want. Yeah. Uh, I'm following these hearings to the best of my ability and, and even more alarming reminders that our previous president really wasn't trying to be the president of all of us. Uh, he was really just trying to maintain power at, at all costs. And I hope that the American people are paying attention and going to do you know, what I call for in my podcast, How to Citizen, that we're going to citizen you know, peacefully and forcefully for, for the policies and for the culture that we want, which is going to actually deliver on that promise that our founders had, especially as we go into this Fourth of July weekend. Uh, it's a great chance to... Uh, to refresh that cup of liberty lovingly and peacefully and remember what we're supposed to be all about for everybody here. So thank you for asking that. Uh, well, can you just text, you know, you worked in the Obama White House. I know it's voluntary, but come on now. Can you just text Barack and tell him to come back <laughs> just for a little bit, just for a little bit? <laughs> you know, there's a couple things. He's, will, there's I a couple loose ends, a couple will, loose yeah, ends. He's got to tie up TV right now, but I will see what I <laughs> yeah, yeah, a couple loose ends he's got to tie up, and then, you know, he can go back to his <laughs> nice retire, you know, and, and do his thing with Michelle. <laughs> no, but look. Yeah, she, uh, she, will never, she will never let him go back. So we know right, that. And, and right. He shouldn't have to. And I'm with you as well. Right, right. Well, look, uh, man, that, that's just a great accomplishment. I, I mean, you know, being able to, uh, you know, accomplish what you have. How, how old are you? I'm 44 years old. I was born in 77. All right. Very good. Very good. Well, we're right around the same age. You mentioned your podcast. Uh, talk about your podcast real quick. I know we're promoting the new program on PBS, and we'll get into that in a sec. But since you mentioned your podcast. Yeah, it's, all, it's, all, it's all related. It's yeah, all, yeah. Go ahead like, and promote like it, man. On so, so thanks for asking about the podcast. You, know, you can check it out at howtocitizen.com. And, and the kind of premise is right in the title there. We, we choose to interpret citizen as a verb. Uh, not just a legal noun that we use to kind of separate people into different categories based on paperwork, but as a verb that we can all literally participate in and, and, uh, and shape our community and shape our country and shape our world. And so this is a show born out of uh, my frustration with the news. You know, I'm a creature of Washington, D.C. I grew up there in the 80s during the crack epidemic. I watched a lot of news, and all I saw is, is bad news. It's everything that's wrong with the city. It's everything that's wrong with the state, everything that's wrong with the country and the world. And there's another reality that I was aware of. There's so many people working so hard to make things better, and I wanted to shine a light on that. And, and most importantly, all, give us something to do. I think the news generally offers us the opportunity to tune in at 11 for more disempowerment and despair. And that's not good enough. That's right. not good enough for the, cl the crises that we're facing, mm -hmm. uh, economic, climate, and otherwise. And it's not good enough for the opportunity that we have to actually like be the America uh, and be the humans that we're capable of. So I needed this show for my own inspiration. It was a selfish intention, uh, but it has a collective selfish benefit that other people have found a way to literally act and do things and not just like wallow in the misery of bad news. So if that sounds good to you, uh, you need to be checking out howthecitizen.com. I appreciate that question. I love it. Baratunde Thurston, writer, comedian, commentator. You say you're from D.C., uh, commander fan or no? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> You know, I um, 
I'm not I'm not an active fan of any football team. I grew up uh, a fan of the previous team uh, oh. and the name that it bore right. until I understood that, that my indigenous brethren uh, were disgusted and considered that name a slur. And that's when I bailed on, on that team, and I started to bail on the sport of football. I appreciate a lot of what sports can do. Are you feeling all right? And talking, <laughs> to, talking to get back the concussions and, 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 the, and the traumatic brain injuries. So I, I, I tend to focus on different sports. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad they changed their name, and uh, that sports team, along with uh, the Mystique, the Wizards, uh, and the, you know they're they're doing a lot. Uh, the Capitals even doing a lot for the DC area, uh, which I think you know off the court, off the ice, uh, off the field is what we need. So I, I appreciate you know the people who are involved in sports using their. All right. Well, are are you going to appreciate? Are you going to appreciate when they start getting these wins this season? You going to try? You going to come on back? <laughs> I mean, because you, know, you know what, winning cures of, everything. I mean, winning, I, winning cures I, I, everything. I got to give. I gave the commencement speech at my old high school in DC at Sidwell French a couple of weeks ago, and that's that's a powerful homecoming, man. That's like a high school dream come true. I feel like I finally graduated high school. Um, so you know, I, I will start rooting more for these Washington sports teams because okay. uh, I love I love the district in particular. I love the DMV broadly. It literally made me who I am. Um, the people, the culture. Uh, and, the, and the outdoor environment there is a big part of my childhood. So nice, it's nice. nice to be able to come back, yeah. Uh, well, PBS's new summer program, America Outdoors, uh, give us a rundown. Tell us all about it, man. What can we expect on the show? And, uh, you know, tell us about it. Yeah, you, you can expect the show. It's called America Outdoors. And so that, that has images of, like, slow motion shots of butterflies and extreme sports, you know, free, free climbing, you know, El Capitan or something. I do not free climb El Capitan in this show, and we're not really focused on the animals. It's uh, I think of it as America, comma outdoors. This is a show where I got to interact with kind of every race, class, uh, political persuasion of Americans, and all that difference through our connection to this common ground and this common land. And it's, uh, it's black surfers in LA, it's, it's ranchers in Idaho who've been doing it for five generations. It's the woman who set the speed record for through hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's the mayor of Tangier Island out there in the Chesapeake Bay um, and, and, and the crabman being out on his boat and seeing the impact of climate change on that very small town as it literally disappears due to rising sea levels. This, we're, we're past the warnings and the academics. We're into the real life. Um, and we're also you know, able to celebrate. Uh, in the Shenandoah Valley with regenerative farmers and with Appalachian beekeepers, used to be coal miners. So you can expect inspiration. You can expect a lot of physical activity. Your boy got, got exercise on this show. A lot okay. of sweat. You know, this is not in the studio. This is not, there's no touch-up. Nice, no nice. Um, and, and you can expect to see yourself in it, whoever you are listening to this right now. I guarantee you're in this show. There's some part of you that is that's portrayed on the screen, which is as it should be with a show uh, called America Outdoors, uh, produced and distributed by public public television, by PBS. So PBS is check the it end. Out July 5th. And if you're one of those people who, quote, unquote, don't watch TV, don't worry. We got you. It's in the PBS video app, and it's going to be on YouTube as well. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to, to get this to everybody everywhere. Absolutely. America Outdoors, Baratunde Thurston. Uh, you know they got Old Bay Hot Sauce now. And they got Old Bay Vodka. Oh, yo, you just changed my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and the Old Bay Goldfish. The old bay. They don't know. My wife is like, what's up with this Old Bay thing? I'm like, look, we're married now. I need to induct you. Yeah, we well, hey, you know they got the Goldfish, my wife. We put it on popcorn. We put it on everything. Let's go. Just, no, the, you know I what? They have fit. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> I'm here. Tell me. Look, they have, and they sell them in the stores, Fisher's popcorn. I know you know Fisher's Ocean City. They got oh, the Fisher's yeah. caramel popcorn with the Old Bay on it. Oh, the sweet and the spice. Now I got it. Now I got it. Yeah, back. and okay. and they have I'm the vodka. I'm gonna in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for this in a, in a local grocery store because uh, that's gonna that's gonna make my day. Yeah, it's so in all all the Royal Farms. Go get it. I'm telling you. Yep, so and the goldfish too. Yeah, the goldfish was hard to get. They sold out, but they, you can get them now. They're on on Amazon. Goldfish. Obey. Yo, Bill and Jessica, I came here to promote my show. <laughs> I really got out of this, that 
there is a caramel old bay popcorn that I can get on my next trip home. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Both of you. Uh, America that's Outdoors on PBS Bear Two Day Thursday. Kind of we need in America right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, people want to follow you, social media, website, all that. How can they do that? Baratunde, B-A-R-A-T-U-N-D-E. Uh, I am that on all the socials and uh, my own website, baratunde.com. Come through, y'all. Come through. Hey, you're the man. Thank you so much for checking in. You too. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday, America. <laughs>